Today I'm shouting about Whisper, Reed Signal Propagation Reporter. You've seen previous videos of homebrew Whisper from home, this time I'm taking it to the beach. I converted my old Whisper set to 7 meg as it's got better propagation within VK. But I still had some crystals for 10 meg, so I thought, well, I'd better build a 10 meg Whisper rig. And this is the result. It's an experiment, as you hear this, it hasn't been on air yet, so we don't know the results. It puts out about 100 milliwatts, and it is USB powered. No other power cables or supply required. On side you've got the crystal oscillator, just below 10.140. There's a 2N222 there. It's again the circuit used by W3PM. There's a balance modulator, just two diodes. Another 2N222, an RF amplifier, and the final, a BD139. It's USB powered, so it's only running off about 5 volts. As you can see, I'm not using a heatsink, and the transistor is only slightly warm. Output power is around 100 milliwatts, or a little bit more. If you've seen these boxes elsewhere, the supermarkets have them on special. They're great for storing components and even for building little projects. Then there's the antenna. It's just a vertical 7.5 metres of wire on a squid pole. I'm running a single ground radio along the deck. I don't have mobile internet so we won't know the results until we get home. But I'm hoping that VK6ZRY at least will decode the signal. In the meantime, I can read a book, admire the view, and of course, answer any questions. Not exactly the most strenuous style of operating, but it's got a place and it's amazing what you can do with low power. Just got home and no results. Well, I suppose 9am isn't the best time of day for 30 metres. I came here this morning hoping for some spots, but nothing. This afternoon though might be better. There was a lot more activity on whisper.net before I left home. Back home and the moment of truth has arrived. It's a bit like going into the chook shed to see if there are any eggs. And there is. I've been heard by VK4ZE over a distance of nearly 1400 kilometres. The signal's not very strong, minus 23 dB, but still not bad for a USB powered transmitter. 